You trying to make some gains? You tired of looking like a little bitch? Yeah? That's yeah? yeah. true. Fuck out the way. What's up, everybody? Hey, but fuck off me. Hey, buddy. <sighs> well, come on, man. They're waiting, man. I'm tired of this email. Trying to show up a clean ass tank top, ain't you? <laughs> tired of this That's email. That's just clean, man. Yeah. Tired of this email. It's clean, eh? Stop cutting me off. Tired of this email. What's the fucking title, man? You said it three times. <laughs> I have to keep repeating it because you keep cutting me the fuck off. Title of this email. Leg raises. Captain's trap does not hit abs. All hip flex. There's a big long fucking email and he's going back and forth on whatever. Does does the captain's chair? Captain's chair, man. <laughs> captain's chair hit your abs? Leg raises. Yeah, when you're on the captain's chair, right? Go ahead, man. Talk about captain's chair, man. Yeah, it hit your abs. I mean, there's a lot. The, the whole email is around does it hit hip flexors or does it hit abs? It hits both. Your hip flexors do come into play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it does, it targets your entire ab region, mm -hmm. but the emphasis is on your lower ab region. I remember the first time I did Captain's Chair. Right? Yeah. Did a number but a bunch of crunch around. Very first start working out. Came across the exercise. We tried it both. We tried it together, right? Yeah, we sure did, man. We bought one of those things for like a hundred bucks where you could do pull ups and Captain's chair dips, dips on it, right? It was called, yeah. Lord. It was called Iron Man, man. Yeah. The Iron Man gym. That was years ago, we man. We paid hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents for that bitch. I, I got in good shape with that, man. Yeah. Did. Yeah, we did. But anyway, I remember the first time I did it, me and, me and you both, our abs, our lower ab region was sore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the key to that exercise is you can't, you got to take more, more momentum out of it. Yeah. When you raise your legs up, whether you keeping your knees bent, or you keeping your legs straight, you gotta take momentum out of it. You come up, and when you come up to the top, hold right, it. you hold it and you crunch those abs, bring yeah. your abs into it, right. Yeah. When you go down, you wanna pause at the bottom. You wanna for pause a at the bottom because it's real easy when you're doing that lift to get more momentum into it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't want, you do not want momentum involved in that exercise. It's gonna yeah. take away the effectiveness. Yeah, you of exercise. That's one of the exercises you should do it at a slow, yeah, pace, and you should squeeze it at the top and pause slightly. At the bottom, you shouldn't go all the way down to the bottom, but you support, should pause right before you get to the bottom to keep the tension on your abs. Yeah. If you're just going back and forth like that, yeah. momentum's coming into it and it's making it easier. Yeah. And it's not as. Yeah, I, I, we see people in the gym doing the exercise, man, it's like they're trying to fucking fly away, man. They took, they took the, the, an effective exercise for your abs and they got all this momentum on it. And basically, all you're doing is goddamn cardio at that fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking you're like a fucking fish out of water, man. You're doing cardio. You're not working your abs. Yeah. You know? Anyway, that's our take on it. That's our advice. Yeah. It's a great ab exercise. It is. If done correctly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want to do.